rockets. Everyone finds them fascinating, and NASA uses them to launch satellites into Earth orbit and travel to other planets like Mars. But are they really safe to use in the classroom? Well, some of them are, and we're here today to help you build a simple PVC stomp rocket launcher for use with your students. The purpose of this activity is to engage students in the engineering design process of creating a model to meet specific design constraints and then testing that model. Encourage students to build a rocket, test it, compare its performance to others in the class, and then create a better rocket that will fly higher and farther than the first. Of course, everyone always wants to know how high their rocket traveled, so we'll do the math too. And trust me, these rockets can fly. Whenever you engage in any sort of science or engineering project, be sure to follow proper safety procedures so no one gets hurt. For the launcher, you'll need several lengths of half-inch PVC pipe, two T-connectors, two elbow connectors, and two end caps. You'll also need an empty two-liter bottle and some duct tape. Now let's go ahead and assemble this launcher according to the directions. Here's your completed launcher, all ready for a rocket launch. We just need a rocket. The rocket will go on the launch tube like this and be ready to go. So let's talk about how to build a rocket now. For the rocket, you'll need some paper. You can use copy paper, construction paper, pretty much anything you have. You'll also need either masking tape or scotch tape, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. You first use an extra piece of PVC pipe that is of the same diameter as the launch tube on the launcher. Take your paper and roll your fuselage. Fuselage is a French word for body of the rocket. Now you want this to be snug on the launch tube, but not too tight. When you get it on there, you put a few pieces of tape along the seam. Now you want to use enough tape so that your seam ends up being airtight. Tape the rocket paper to itself, not to the launch tube. And then you have your fuselage. Next, you want to seal off one end of the fuselage. A couple of different ways to do that. Simplest way, just pinch it, fold it over, and put on a piece of tape to hold that down. You can get fancier and make an actual nose cone, but this will function and work just fine. The next thing you need to do is build your fins. You can make round fins, square fins, triangular fins, any shape you want. I am going to make some triangular fins. Easiest way for me to do that is to cut a square out of our paper and then to cut the diagonal of that square so that you then get two identical triangles. Then each of these is going to become two fins. The line of symmetry on the triangle drops from the apex to the base. I'm going to fold the triangle parallel to the line of symmetry a few millimeters to each side. So then you get something like this. This can then be placed on the bottom of your rocket. Fins act as a stabilizer and they create drag when your rocket is launching through the air. So you want them on the back end of your rocket to drag the back end behind the nose. Make sure the tape extends a little bit top and bottom. Position that set of fins and again we will tape that on the other side. So that's your basic standard rocket. Now if you'd like to make a nose cone you need to make a circle first. I'm going to use my masking tape roll to make a circle and then cut that circle out. And then fold it in half so that you pinch the middle, fold it in half again, pinch the middle, and you end up finding the center of the circle. Then cut toward the center, but don't go all the way through, and cut toward the center, and you'll end up with a three quarters or a wedge of your circle out. You can bring this together and you can make a nose cone. Now it's kind of hard to put a nose cone on when the rocket is folded over like this. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that fold since I'm going for the nose cone. Put my tape over right here. Now I can make that airtight. Another piece of tape. Put your nose cone on top of your rocket. Tape it down so that it points directly up and you'll end up with a nice pointy top. And there you have your rocket.